So guys, for the first step, you're going to head over to your web browser, then you're going to click on the three dots in the top right, and then click on History, and then click on History again. Now you're going to select Delete Browsing Data. Now you're going to set the time range to all time. Then you're going to select Cookies and Other Site Data and Cache Images and Files. Select both of these, and then click on Delete Data. And now for the second step, you're going to head over to Search and type in View Network Connections. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you're going to find your network adapter. You're going to double click on it and then click on Properties, and then click on Internet Protocol version 4. Now you want to select Use the following DNS server address. You want to make the first line 8888, and you want to make the second line 8844, and then click on OK. And now for the next step, you want to head over to Search and type in CMD, then you want to run it as administrator, and then click on Yes. And then once you're on this, you want to type in ipconfig space forward slash release, click on Enter. And now we're going to type in ipconfig space forward slash renew. Click on enter again. Wait for this to load. And now we're going to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Click on enter again. And now we're going to type in netsh space winsock space reset. Click on enter again. And now we're going to type in netsh space int space ip space reset. Click on enter again. And then once you complete all the steps in the video, you just want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.